So hello everybody. Uh, I tried to uh, do this session in English. So if it's okay, uh, uh, my English is not uh, the best, but I try my best. So please be kind uh, if I make mistakes. My session is about uh, agile, um, an agile issue. So first of all, my name is Attila Janos, so I am from here, from the, uh, Sub7 Digital, maybe a Type 3 agency here in Vienna. I am also the organizer of the Type 3 camp in Vienna, so next year you are very welcome. This year we are sold out. Um, this, is my, uh, um, this is my real life uh, with my three children and with my wife. Okay, um, the starting point. Um, the reason uh, behind I prepared uh, this uh, session was uh, because uh, uh, we, my, I personally um, had, uh, um, I'm interested in this issue, in this agile issue, and uh, uh, we had in the, my last agency, we, do, we did Scrum in, in, in our daily business and uh, had uh, some good experience, some really bad experience. Uh, and um, every time I spoke uh, to some uh, some people the, in the, to the, about the HL issue, every time we had um, method discussion. Your method is better, my better method is better, uh, Scrum is, uh, is uh, terrible, and so on. And I personally uh, thought every time uh, agility is something interesting. Uh, it sounds interesting, there are very good ideas, but I had uh, some questions which, which I... Uh, uh, could not answer for me personally over 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 years. Yeah, and then uh, last year I was uh, in on some uh, uh, agile um, um, conferences uh, uh, in, uh, in Vienna here, the agile tour. Uh, maybe you know it, uh, this conference, and they opened uh, my mind in some uh, aspects. And I thought, okay, let's go back uh, and don't discuss uh, uh, methods and uh, 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 dogma, try to go back uh, what is uh, the, this issue about agility, where comes this from. Yeah? And if you go back to the basics, you, go, you have to go to the Agile Manifesto. Yeah? Maybe you know this uh, uh, issue where, and this is where uh, the whole Agile issues come from. This is, I think, so 10 years ago, some software developer from the United States uh, defined four values and uh, 12 principles. The reason behind this definition was because they come to the point where the daily business in the software development doesn't work, didn't work. So I personally went back to this Agile Manifesto, and if you read these four values, these are the basics of the older Agile issues. Yeah? And this is very important. I personally would uh, uh, suggest you that you uh, read these four uh, values and learn it for yourself. So if you go through these four uh, values, you have individuals and interactions over processes and tools. Yeah? Very important, yeah. Working software or comprehensive documentation. Customer collaboration or contract negotiation. This sounds very easy and very lightweight, but if you uh, think at the, to the end of all these fear values, uh, these are very, very important sentences. Responding to change over following a plan. So this is not, uh, the, this, if you uh, like, you can uh, read the also 12 principles, but these are, uh, starting points, the Agile Manifesto. Yeah. And something very interesting uh, I heard uh, at the, these uh, Agile uh, conferences, you have to go back to these four values and use these four values in the way y your organization or your uh, business unit needs. Uh, make your own rules and then if uh, these rules don't work, then the change it and uh, use it uh, uh, or in, in another way, yeah. So it is very important that you go uh, away, to my personal view, without dogma, uh, it's very important that you make your own, uh, um, um, your own rules and uh, use these rules for yourself, for your customer, and uh, for your team, maybe, yeah. This is, this is the basic, the starting point. So I personally asked, okay, we, we, we know now these uh, principles and these values. Where can I um, 
use now these uh, methods or these uh, thinkings and uh, these four values also. When can I use these uh, uh, values? So it's very important that we uh, state one of the, f the first of two uh, big points. You, you have to use Agile when you have a complexity. Very important. Because if you have uh, uh, a task, you can have uh, these three type of uh, tasks. Uh, simple tasks, uh, com complex tasks, and uh, complicated. So it's important that you uh, realize for yourself and in every discuss discussions you have uh, maybe with uh, your colleagues that it makes no sense to use uh, agile uh, principles, agile methods if you have a simple task. If you write the, down your name is a simple task, uh, most of the time, uh, maybe you had a party last night, it's, it's difficult, a complex task, but normally it's a simple task, you, so you don't have to use uh, agile methods. Yeah? It's very important because the, the problem that we had uh, last in these years uh, in our agency that we tried to use in every, uh, every day in, 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 in every task uh, agile methods. And then uh, we had really bad experiences with, with that. So it is important that you, that you uh, make differences in, in, in the uh, type of your task. There's a, a Stacy matrix. This uh, is uh, a matrix where you can uh, see the type of your uh, task, maybe. So if you have uh, here the requirements and the complexity, then you, can see you, ha you have here a simple task and here a chaotic uh, task. And the same way you have here waterfall methods uh, in the old way, then you have here uh, agile methods, and here you have uh, uh, the most complex things you can also use uh, HL methods. This is uh, 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 something uh, in uh, the, the way how do you uh, can solve a problem. So what kind of tools you can use. Yeah? So now we have the, this uh, definition. We can say, okay, we have, uh, we have uh, complex problems. We can define that software uh, development is a complex tool. You have here uh, the requirements. And in German, uh, you have here Freiheitsgrade, the way uh, you, uh, you are embedded with a task. So if you can say if you uh, have a task like uh, to write down your name, this is, this is uh, uh, um, um, a simple and a simple task. If you have uh, the, the, the task that you have uh, to build a, a, a bridge, then it's something complex in this, this way it means. So this is something you have here uh, um, uh, with uh, known requirements and uh, uh, not complex and, or, or a simple task, and this is a, a complex task. And in the middle you have complicated tasks. But what is very important, this is, uh, this is the meaning behind this uh, thinking is um, don't Decide for yourself when you have when to use uh, which method. Yeah? This is the, re the the thinking behind of th this issue. Yeah? And not always are uh, uh, all methods uh, uh, re reasonable yeah, to use them. So we can we can define that uh, uh, we have to use uh, uh, agile methods when we we have to deal with complexity. And we can define that software development and doing a software project is uh, something uh, complex because, uh, as you know uh, from your daily business, uh, uh, and the first, uh, uh, the first uh, point for me personally was uh, this, uh, that I do not have to decide which uh, method I use in my daily business. I can sometimes do... Uh, Agile uh, methods, if uh, a project requires, I can sometimes uh, do uh, waterfall methods or uh, ad hoc methods or something else. Yeah? This is the very, very big uh, point for me personally. These are also my, only my personal views. Yeah? So you don't have to discuss uh, uh, in a dogma way uh, with uh, somebody else uh, which is the best method because you have to take care that you uh, use also uh, uh, the facility of, of your task and your project. Okay, so 
for me, the, the question was, uh, uh, I uh, can define, I uh, use HL methods when I have complex tasks, and then what's the next step? Uh, the next big, uh, big point why I have, uh, I, I have to or I can use uh, complex uh, um, HL methods is when time takes a big role. Time to market is, uh, is called in the business uh, in the business uh, uh, language. And the reason behind uh, this uh, definition is in the digital market, the winner takes it all. This is the, one of the reasons why time to market is in our business as import uh, more important uh, maybe than in some other uh, businesses. Because if you think about this, you have only one Facebook, you have only one Spotify, you have only one Twitter, you have only one um, Google, and so on. So the first uh, uh, who comes with a solution to the market is uh, in most uh, uh, cases also the, the winner of this. I uh, read a, a blog uh, article last time uh, in German, is schnell ist das neue groß. So this is the reason why uh, uh, I personally think that uh, HL methods uh, um, uh, are important in this in this case. I, I, I heard a session from, from, from New York, one of the Spotify uh, uh, guys, and he, he uh, told uh, one of the statements of the Spotify founder is, we aim to make mistakes first. Yeah. So we can make mistakes, we have to go to the market, but we have to go fast to the market. Okay, now something important in this uh, issue. One question was for me personal, okay, we can state this, that uh, software development is complex, complex but what is the difference uh, to build a bridge? Uh, this is also a complex task, maybe. What is the difference uh, uh, from software development to building a bridge? And I personally found an, an uh, answer in this diagram. So you have two, uh, if, if you see uh, a software development uh, um, or a, pro a soft, uh, web development um, a project here. You can you, you see, as you know from your daily business, you have a requirement, specification, conception, uh, implementation, building, deployment, and then uh, rollout and uh, online. So the question is, uh, why uh, should I use here agile methods and why um, it's, it's not possible that I define, uh, make a plan like building a bridge and why should I use agile methods with iteration and always definition something new? And this is the answer which I, which sounds for me uh, uh, reasonable, that as you can see in the old way, you have here uh, the Entwurfsphase, the, the specification here, and then implementation belongs to the building the software. And the new uh, answer of, uh, of this question is that the building the software, writing software code, is no building, it's designing. So it's the same, in, in, in principle, it's the same uh, method like an architect is designing a house. Only at the moment of the rollout, this is a design process at, at the end. So you have the possibility, like uh, an architect, to change uh, always uh, your requirements, to, to discuss your requirements with your customer, with your uh, user. And uh, if you see this uh, um, process, then it makes sense why we can uh, use agile methods in uh, software development. Why it makes sense? Because in the designing of, of, uh, of, of a product is all, it's, it's in the same way like uh, designing a bridge, designing a house, and, and the same way. So I think I'm uh, almost at the end. Uh, something very important. Um, I personally uh, uh, don't like uh, uh, dogma discussions in this way. So it's something is very important. Uh, I personally think that uh, agile is a, a problem indicator. So if you use agile methods and you you it, and it don't work it for you, then maybe you have the possibility that uh, to, to ask why uh, this method don't work for me. Because as it states here in German, uh, if uh, you have a, an indicator with the auto, you uh, don't uh, uh, cut it away. Uh, you, in best case, you solve your problem. Yeah? So it's very important. Okay, I'm uh, 
what this means uh, for me personally, for me personally it means that uh, uh, it's uh, not a discussion about uh, methods, it's uh, an attitude, a philosophy, for me personally. As we uh, heard uh, in many um, conferences, uh, you can use agile attitudes, agile thinking uh, in uh, every um, aspect in your life. For, uh, um, yeah, you have no, it's not only for software development. So what this means for us uh, in, in, in our project uh, daily business today, we use in working uh, with uh, our customers, we use, use uh, like mob sessions, then that means that we work, everybody is working on one project, not only within this pipeline, as you know, you make uh, requirements and then your design and then, uh, the, then the developer comes into the project. So we use mob sessions and the single piece flow principle, that means uh, the whole team is working only uh, on one project. We uh, um, have uh, big requirements uh, to our customer to be part of this, uh, this team. We like to use uh, DevOps uh, culture, DevOps uh, thinking in our uh, team. We have a very uh, high communication uh, uh, level. We uh, try to, uh, uh, to give feedback uh, in a good, uh, in, to good uh, points and to bad points. We try to make uh, retrospectives with our customer. This is something new and we have got a, a very positive feedback. Uh, we try to use uh, uh, this principle and in, in this thinking that we do in that moment uh, that uh, th these things that are required. So we do not test, uh, it's called Tetris principle. This means we do not uh, testing because we have uh, uh, to test. We do test if it's in, in that moment required. If it's not uh, required, we do not test. It's okay. Yeah. As I mentioned, we do uh, retrospectives in, within the team, uh, with the team and with our customer. We try to uh, implement uh, failure culture, to, to make mistakes, to, to try something new, to encourage our team members to decide for themselves and to do something new. Try to commit to this agile thinking uh, from our uh, customers and from our team members. And we try to focus on products uh, every day, so not do a project uh, for the projects, or, uh, but to do a, a value for a customer. At the end, uh, maybe you know this, uh, everything is, uh, uh, is uh, uh, daily trying, so uh, it's not, this don't, don't mean that we have the, the best solution, it's something for you, for us, and uh, um, sometimes it's, uh, uh, it's, it's okay and sometimes uh, we have no time to do something better. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>